Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Vanessa and you are watching the Exploring Oracle or the Exploracle for short. If it's your first time here, what I usually do on this channel is I show you a deck from my personal collection. I show you all of the cards, we talk about the card stock, we talk about how the deck shuffles and also the guidebook. And at the end, we also choose a card to read so that you would also have an idea of how the guidebook reads like. So for today, we are taking a look at a mass market oracle deck called the She Sirens Oracle. This is by Lisa Lister and it is a 42 card deck and guidebook. It is published by Hay House and it comes in this really bright pink box, uh, which I absolutely love. And it says at the back, do you hear the call? Each of these bright, bold, and wild cards have been channeled and drawn with love and magic by Creatrix Lisa Lister to support you as you remember, reclaim, and have fierce reverence for your siren call. So Lisa Lister is the best-selling author of Witch and Code Red. She's an artist, oracle, ritual, and ceremony guidess, well woman, therapist, and a movement in practice facilitator. And you have a link to her website. And I don't see a lot of people talking about this deck, but it's I absolutely love it. Also, oh, right, um, so right off the bat, I'm letting you know I love this oracle, and it says in the inside of the box. These signs are interesting. The waves are wild. Let your siren call be a song of potency and power, oracular wisdom and knowing, and fierce, feminine, and really bloody necessary remembrance of your medicine and magic. And so it mother loving is. So as you can probably tell, it's a very feminine-oriented, female empowerment kind of deck, which I absolutely love. I love this energy. And it there's a lot of wisdom in this deck. Um, it's not just uh, like an affirmation uh, type deck. And I, yeah, later on, I'll show you <laughs> what I mean. But these are, the these are the cards, so these are the backs. And of course, you know, it's going to be pretty powerful <laughs> just with the design. It is not reversible. It is bright pink. It is matte. Uh, it's, it's about the size of a standard tarot card. Uh, yeah, maybe just... Yeah, I think it's a standard tarot size card. Um, and the card stock is matte with a little bit of sheen. Standard Hay House type card stock. Um, it snaps back quite well. And I don't have any issues with this type of card stock. I find it really usable. Um, okay, so <laughs> before we go into the flip through, let us also take a look at the guidebook. Usually I talk about the guidebook first, but I think I was so excited that I completely messed up <laughs> my order. So the table contents, you see here the siren call. Uh, you have your navigation system for these times. How to work with the she sirens. How to attune. So sync your energetic frequency with the oracle. And then you go into the cards. Go deeper and then about the creator. And you have here, hold the conch shell to your ear. Can you hear it? Can you hear from the bottom of the ocean siren, siren call? Okay. Remember here and heed your siren call. Remembering who you are. And there's, a, there's really a lot of things that you, can, uh, that you can think about or reflect on with this deck. Tells you her journey. Mm -hmm. Let me just go. You're a song, and you can sing entire worlds, universes, and possibilities into being. So it also has a section and telling you how to work with this with the deck. Okay, so you can pause to read if you would like. So there's also a section about reading the cards and she actually tells you that the the deck doesn't provide answers. It's more of it triggering you to remember what you already know. Uh, but basically it tells you that the more you use it, the more you can get connected and the more that you will remember. And for each card, uh, you actually have these sections. So the She Siren supports, the transmissions, an affirmation, and then some prompts and activations and inspiration of, for that particular card. 
And then you also have here different spreads. I hear her calling. You have three card spreads. New moon siren call. Uh, go with the flow. And you can just choose not to use the spread. It also tells you how to use the oracle or basically some ways to use the oracle deck before you go into this section which attunes you to the oracle deck. So there's quite a lot of information here. And then you go into the meanings of the actual cards and the activations. Okay, so that goes all the way to the end. And then there is a section about... Okay. And then there's a section that tells you to go deeper, how you can go deeper, um, suggest some books, and information about the creatrix. Okay, let's put that to the side. Now, I already talked about the cardstock. Um, so, yeah, so let's just zoom in and take a closer look at all of the cards. Okay, so I adjusted my light so that you'll that there's no glare. And I hope that you can really see the colors uh, on this deck because it's quite saturated. They're bright and bold. And there's something about this deck that just shows you the close-up image of the siren and the keyword that's for me, is very, very powerful. So there is another deck. I think it's called the Weaver's Oracle that kind of reminds me of this deck. I know it's quite different, but, you know, it's like learning from the, the Weaver's or the Sirens, in this case, in the deck. And the keywords are not uh, the usual keywords that you usually see in Oracle decks. Of course, there are some common ones, but you could, uh, later on and during the flip through, you'll probably see what I mean. Okay, so the cards are kind of sticking a little bit to each other, but I think it's because I just haven't shuffled it enough to really loosen up the, the cards or the deck. Vision. Medicine, Empress, Grow, Reverence, Tigress, Thrive. And I like how expressive the faces are. I don't normally like people or faces in my decks, but this one. I really love it. Express. Cosmic. Courage. Brave. Bold. Untamed. Love that. Golden. Game changer. Focus, Wonder, Pythoness, Agency, see this keyword you don't normally see, Strength, Amplify, B, Permission, I love this card, Potency, Ma, Joy, Determined, Mystic, All-Seeing, Sovereign, Self-Devotion, Alchemy, Curiosity, and Edgewalker. This is my last card pull. <laughs> I think that's why it's at the bottom of the deck. All right, zooming out. Let's see how this deck shuffles. And it's a standard tire size, uh, matte card stock. Don't really have issues shuffling it, but it's one of those decks again that shuffle for me better face up or 
with the art facing me rather than with the back. So I just shuffle it that way. So shuffle however it feels comfortable for you. Uh, overhand, I, yeah, it's type of mat that does kind of clump. So I do uh, exert a little bit more effort with this deck, but I can get jumpers when I shuffle overhand with this deck. So let's see. I can get a card to read. <laughs> I really like the colors though. Okay, and we will be reading for Curiosity. So even though the deck is not numbered, it is um, it is arranged alphabetically in the guidebook, so it's easy enough to find the card that you are reading for. So at the start, you have here a transmission. Let me read that for you. So the she riff or the transmission for curiosity, allow curiosity to be your guide. Allow yourself to become totally liberated from the self-deep fear of not being perfect, of not fitting in, of being too much, of being seen. Like Pandora in the ancient Greek myth, we've been taught not to open the box and not to question, well, anything. Yet, it's when we dare to open the box, to ask questions, to get really curious about, well, everything, that the real magic is revealed. Do not settle for what you've been told and sold. Instead, explore and experiment with all the possibilities. Possibility always creates options and choices. Get curious about it all. Your body, the terrain, the landscape, the multiple realities, and the trueness of all that you are. And then the uh, affirmation. Pandora, this one's for you. I dare to open the box and to let curiosity lead me to possibility. And the heart drift from or the activation says, Of course, it's easier not to open the box because, let's face it, opening the box will probably rock the boat. And you're likely already far too exhausted to deal with the repercussions of that. It probably doesn't feel safe, something bad might happen, or it could be really bloody amazing. Using a timer, set yourself 15 minutes and then ask where your curiosity wants to take you. Let yourself really go there in total Alice in Wonderland style. So the inspiration for this card is Nikki, who creates and makes art based on all that she dares to become curious about. At her throat sits the waxing full and waning moon to remind us that for everything, there is a reason and a season. So I, I, I think this deck, it's so different from the other Oracle decks that I already have or other uh, female-centric or empowering Oracle decks that I, I have in my collection. It's just, there's something about it that makes it, to me, have a, a, a very different voice, a very strong and powerful voice, and something that I can learn a lot from and reflect on. And these are the reasons why I read for myself, you know, why I, I collect tarot, why I use oracle decks, why, why I read tarot for myself, because of these thoughts and these thought-provoking moments and these prompts that, that you would reflect on, that I would reflect on. And I think this deck is perfect for that. And I don't see it a lot, so I wanted to share it because I think that it fully deserves um, more more views, more exposure, I don't know. For me, it's a truly special deck, and I, I'm so glad that I picked this up. It's not my usual art style, mind you, but definitely working with it, getting to know it, it's been a great, great addition to my collection. So, that has been the flip through of the She Sirens Oracle. Let me know what you think about it. And of course, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to click on the like button. And do consider subscribing to my channel where I post videos like this at least once a week. See you again next time. Bye!